Who boy, ladies and gentlemen, DSP here with something special. A blast from fighting game history's past. In the 1990s, when I was growing up, I used to go to video arcades all the time. And I used to play beat em up side scrolling games such as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade, the Simpsons arcade game, etc. They were some of the most popular games in arcades. And then one day, I went to my local arcade and there was a game called Street Fighter 2 there. And there was a crowd of people around this game. It was completely innovative, having one-on-one -on -one combat that was competitive in a game. No one had ever really seen that before. It blew everyone away. And that's when the fighting game craze began in the early 1990s in the United States. And with Street Fighter came five versions. It was Street Fighter 2, Champion Edition, Hyper Fighting, Super, and Super Turbo. Okay? Pretty crazy that they pumped out five versions of the same game, right? But they did, indeed they did. Um, and then, and by the way, wow, shout out to Wicked Ground who gifted 10 memberships. One to Jesse31, one to Game Genie, one to Quandale, one to Austin Sam, some guy, Ronnie, Ultrasonic, no, not Ultrasonic, Asquake, he didn't get one, I'm sorry. My Ruin, Misho Tito, John, and The Closer424 all just got gifted a membership. Thank you so much to Wicked Grom for the support tonight of the channel. Getting back to the subject. So... During this time when Street Fighter 2 was at its height of popularity, other companies saw how hot Street Fighter 2 was, and within one to two years of the release of Street Fighter 2, companies started pumping out fighting games by the masses. Competitors like SNK were putting out games like Fatal Fury, Art of Fighting, The King of Fighters. Mortal Kombat from Midway tried to make a more adult-oriented fighting game with excessive gore. And then there were some companies that didn't really try to diversify at all, they literally just tried to blatantly bite off of or copy what Capcom did with the Street Fighter 2 series. Tonight we're going to be playing a game called Fighter's History from Data East. This game came out in 1993, just a mere year to maybe year and a half after people had started playing the original Street Fighter 2. And when it appeared in arcades, some people actually confused it for Street Fighter and thought that maybe this was a sequel to Street Fighter. In reality, Data East was just trying to ride the coattails of the popularity of Street Fighter 2 and make some money making a game that was incredibly similar. So similar that Capcom felt that Fighter's history infringed on their trademarks that they had filed for Street Fighter 2 and actually attempted to sue Data East for trademark infringement. Now, they ended up losing the case. Court basically ruled that the characters in this game are too different from the characters in Street Fighter 2, and the gameplay elements are slightly different. Therefore, because of that, it is not necessarily a rip-off, bootleg, or tra you know trademark infringement. However, it is very hard to say that they did not just copy. As you will see tonight, this game has characters from all around the world, different cultural regions. They fight in styles known of that region. They have a lot of stereotypes and things in the game. One of the things that absolutely stands out about Fighter's history is the voice acting and sound effects. Now, we are playing the Super Nintendo version, so understand you will not hear the 100% authentic arcade-accurate stuff, but you're going to hear some hilarious stuff tonight. But, I mean, how could you not take a game seriously? I mean, just take a look at the, the cover art for the Super Nintendo box right here. I mean, a giant floating disembodied head with no actual slits in the skin of the face so the eyes can see. No discernible eyes whatsoever in the fe facial features. Uh, a, a, a guy on the right-hand side, incredibly roided with a hat the, si or the head of the size of a pea, swinging a chain around. Uh, a girl in the middle of the frame that obviously is a ripoff of Chun-Li, only the animator couldn't be bothered to not cover half of her face with her shoulder pad. And in the upper left-hand corner, you may notice what appears to be a demonic clown or perhaps some kind of a mutated demon that either is laughing hysterically at the children that he has kidnapped at his evil lair, or perhaps he's about to devour a handful of playing cards because he's so hungry. I'm not sure, but how could you not be sold that this was the top-level competitive fighter of the 1990s just by looking at this picture alone, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your butts, tighten your belts, get ready to jump into the annals, or the annals, of fighting game history... It is fighter's history. Here we go. Why are we doing this? 
because it just released on the Switch Online. I thought it would be a, like a, a, a nice way to just do like a, a one-off nighttime stream. By the way, thank you, Steve McMichael, who just became a channel member here tonight. I appreciate that, Steve. All right, here we go. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa, a nuke just exploded somewhere. 1994. This original game came out in 1993. This Super Nintendo version came out in 1994. Oh, now we're talking. Uh, 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 uh. You hear that tone? Dun, 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 dun. Doesn't it kind of sound like the intro song of another fighting game? And Street Fighter has exactly the same tone in it. So here we go. Yeah. Ray. Look at this. They're fighting in front of the White House. That's right. That is literally the White House in Washington, D.C., USA. Ray against Mizoguchi. Those characters kind of look like other players. Look. A pro at martial arts, his wheel kick is powerful. Mizoguchi is an expert in street karate. Oh, I see. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is very exciting. Chocoboco, thank you for the tip. Dollar Fifty Tippy says, "Oh wait, I recognize the game. I played this on my Saturn. It was called Carnal's Revenge. You played the sequel. The sequel is called Fighters History Dynamite Carnal's Revenge, and that one added, I believe, it added in a character, uh, or there was some kind of a variation, something different in it from this version. This is the original game, and that was the you know how Street Fighter Two had five versions, so this one had two versions. So that's the one that you play. All right." Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, what are we waiting for here? Let's be honest. Let's jump into it. Fighter's history. Here we go. So, CPU battle versus setup. Let's actually do setup and see what the buttons are. Because I'm not sure. So, game level easy, medium, or hard. We'll go to... Oh, my God. Easiest, very easy, easy, medium, hard, very hard, and hard. Let's go for medium to start. Time limit on. Speed normal. Sound stereo. Oh, there's actually no button config, huh? Oh, that's a great sign. There's no button configuration. All right, CPU battle. Good evening, Tyler. How are you? Good to see you. Okay, so here we go. Uh, huh. Who do we want to use to start? That totally doesn't look like someone I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I think I know who I'm starting with, ladies and gentlemen. You ready for this one? Here we go. Jean from France versus Ryoko. Jean. Round one, Look at this. Look at those graphics. So light kick, heavy kick. Oh, that's that's heavy kick. This would be medium kick. Yeah, that's medium kick. Wow. Are there any combos? Let's see if I can figure out any special moves. Oh, an air throw from Yoko. Now, interestingly enough, you might say, oh, Ryoko kind of looks like Makoto. Actually, this game came out before Street Fighter 3. So, technically, Makoto copied Ryoko. How about a rose? He throws a fucking rose at you. Look at this. Yes, he literally throws a rose at you. Does he have a flash kick of any sort? Let's see. I'm trying to see what his other moves are. There's probably... I just realized there's probably no moves list. I might have to look up a moves list for the game because I don't know the moves of the game. Oh my god! Did you see that? She had a crazy spinning throw as if she was like like Zangief. A command throw. Yamato Rose! Wow. Yes, there's some, someone's chasing a cat around in the background. Is he? <laughs> I can't see. I was concentrating on the fight. So I don't know what his other moves are. I'm sure everyone has more than one move, I'm sure. Look at this. When he jump, <laughs> That's down at Roundhouse. He does a double corkscrew spin. Oh, my God. That's totally not a spinning pile driver or anything. A double corkscrew spinning kick when he jumps. What's funny is... Oh, there it is. Look. Oh, my God. He has a hundred hand slap. He has E Honda's hundred hand slap. Oh, he can slide. Oh. I basically held forward and kick and he did a slide. Interesting. Jean loses. Jean loses? Oh, I didn't notice. Round three, yeah, he slides if you hold down forward. I can't get her off me. 
Whoa! She hit and immediately gets a 360 move. She keeps trying to hit me out of the air. I did like two low sh short kicks and it worked. Music is something else. Oh! 360 again. <laughs> so, John is a combination of Guile and Honda. He has a rose that he throws that looks like a sonic boom. But then he has a multi-hand hit that's like Honda. The thing is, if you didn't notice, every single time that I did the multi-hand move, she, she swept me. So, I couldn't actually do the multi-hand move because she would sweep through it every time. Let's go for our own grappler. Look at this guy. Ma I think his name is Mas Marstorius. Look at this guy. Marstorius. Gee, I wonder who he could possibly be based off of. <clears throat> I can't imagine who this guy's supposed to be. You know, with his body splash and headbutt. Now, the problem is, again, I don't know any special moves. I'm going to have to start looking moves up online. Oh, what was that? It's a, it's a dashing clothesline. Yeah, see that? He's like Balrog. Oh my god, he's like Balrog. I thought it was going to be like Zangief. He's not. He's totally like Balrog. He has a dash straight. A dashing straight punch. That's a charge move. Huh. Marstorius. Oh yeah, look. Wheel kick. Tiger. He was just Tiger when he does that move. Listen. Wheel kick. Tiger. Wheel kick. Now you see he has a blinking thing. I think what happens is if they, if they make you uh, block a certain amount... A piece of your equipment will come off, similar to how Vega's Claw in Street Fighter 2 comes off. And if the equipment comes off, then they're weakened, I think. I think what it is, is if they block too much. It's Samson? Yeah, it could be like Samson. The character of Samson from the freaking Bible. <laughs> so I think he's supposed to be... He looks like Zangief, but he plays more like, like Balrog. Or, I should say, M. Bison. His leg was glowing because uh, she had hit me, hit me and I blocked enough. If you block too much in this game, it's a guard crush and you lose equipment and then you become weaker. Does he have a 360 throw? Does he? Have, if he has a 360 throw, I'll try it. I don't know if he does, though. Plus, I'm playing on this fucking thing, which probably can't get a 360 even if I want it. Oh, my God. His name is Matlock? Matlock. Like the fucking the character from a TV show, Matlock. But he actually looks kind of like... Oh, God, what was that? How did I do that? Okay, it's, I'll charge down and up and punch. He does a flip. I guess we're in uh, England. Because that looks like an English cop there, right? A Bobby with his hat, his helmet. What did he say? <laughs> I don't know what he's saying with his kick. A bookshop, it says in the background there. Damn, you saw the range? He had a big range. It went full screen with that dash punch. Flex, Marstorius. Flex. He literally says tiger. Yeah. He literally says tiger when he does that dash punch. So it's the same as this dashing straight of Balrog. He's got a spinning heel kick. He says, I think, heel kick or wheel kick when he does it. And then he's got that, that splash. Don't ask me what the splash is for. It doesn't seem like it would be an anti-air. I'm not sure. <laughs> and then Matlock, all he had, all I saw so far was a kick. I don't know what other moves he has. Steve did a super chat and says, do you ever play World Heroes? Of course I did. Yeah, World Heroes was very popular back in the day. Again, and other people said that, that it was uh, more of a ripoff of Street Fighter. I actually don't feel that. It was kind of unique. And again, had fighters from all over the world. And that one actually had supposedly historical references to real fighters. Um, 
if in time, although they weren't really real, but you know what I'm saying? Like supposed to, oh, here's a guy from this time period, this time period. That's actually what they're going for here, too, but this is a, a, a horrendous knockoff. Like I said, Matlock's supposed to be from the fucking future. I, I don't know. Look at him. He looks futuristic, like a cyberpunk or something, right? <clears throat> kind of weird. The accessory part is the dizzy system of the game. Every character will be weaker to either a high, mid, or low move, depending on where the accessory is. Okay. The game is very slow moving. This game basically plays like Street Fighter 2, original Street Fighter 2. Tiger. Look, it's almost a full screen dash when he does it. Oh, what was that? Something wave? So that sounded like that actually sounded like a sonic boom. I think I think Matlock's supposed to be like Guile. He said Tiger when he flipped too. So he says Tiger no matter what. <laughs> he says Tiger clothesline and Tiger flip. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, no, no sleep real vibes. No one was lining up to play this game in arcades. People were just staring at it like, what is it? Some people actually thought this legitimately was a sequel to Street Fighter. And they were like, damn, it doesn't look as good as Street Fighter 2. What happened? And like, people were like, nah, it's made by Data East. That's not the same company. A Mark Storius mirror match. Here we go. Look at the background. Definitely like ancient Greece, right? It's supposed to be Greek. Oh, you could two and one it? You can two and one it. Heel kick. Oh, God. Suplex. Didn't do that much damage, though. Someone's doing a regular throw. Jesus. Look at the range. That's it. He lost it. He lost his leggings, and then I dizzied him. See that? He was dizzy. Tiger. Mastorius. I can't wait to try some of the other characters. Where do you see some of these characters? Oh my god, you can tune with the flip too. You can flip the you can tune with everything. Oh, so the the, the kick might be his anti-air. Oh no, suplex. Double suplex. Perhaps that's a, uh, maybe, be, by the way, he can't do what he just did. He walked forward and did a down-up charge move. So it, the game cheats just like Street Fighter. He can't even do what he just did. What the fuck? the damage output oh guys gonna get a suplex he's dizzy now I'm dizzy oh no come on I can't get out of it oh my god that's such bullshit I got dizzy out of nowhere I'm gonna try a different character I guess what do I want to use? So I couldn't really figure out how to use Jean. All I had to figure out was one move. Let's try... Who the fuck is this? I don't even know. Let's try... Is this Mizoguchi? Mizoguchi! Gee, I wonder who he's supposed to be based off of. Totally not, right? You heard him? <laughs> Tiger, you get boogie there. Oh, I remember him. You have to keep mashing. It's like Rekka's, like, like, a uh, Fei Long. You keep mashing, he keeps hovering, and he'll hit you up to five times, I think, with that kick. Hit the, hit the, hit the, hit the, hit the. I don't remember if he has an anti-air. 
Tiger, look at that. He just keeps tripping me out of it, so apparently it's not safe. He said German. German. Tiger, look at that. Tiger, Wow, he got a double German. I can't do anything about it. Yes! Hit the, hit the, hit the, hit the, hit the, oh. <laughs> hit the, hit the, hit the. Yes, I played the Ninja Turtles fighting game. That's coming out in the collection next month, if you didn't know. Tiger Duga Booga there. Tiger Duga Booga there. German. He's with a German. Oh, what? He jumps perfectly as soon as you throw the fireball. He doesn't have any energy to block it. I only know two moves. I gotta figure out his other moves. He has at least three to four special moves, but I don't know them. Chocobogo did another dollar fifty tippy. Said I know you did it. Marstorius does a three hundred and sixty called Double German. I believe you can combo it into After Normals. Okay, it's too late for that now. I'm not picking him anymore. I didn't try it. I was just doing other moves. He already had three special moves. Let me say he has four freaking special moves. Damn. So, oh Ray, this is supposed to be Ryu versus Ken, basically Mizoguchi versus Ray. Yeah, I gotta figure out what his other moves are. Mizoguchi's. His a special uppercut. How do you do it? How do you do his uppercut? Uh, is it a charge move? No. I know how to do that. That's about it. Taiga Duga Booga Day. Is that the... Oh, wait. So it's not the White House. It's the Capitol building that we're fighting in. Excuse me. What do you say? Gagalai? Oh, that was an uppercut. How do I do that? What I miss? Big tornado. Hit me with the wheel kick. Oh no! I got to go look at that. Oh! I gotta figure out his uppercut anti-air move. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. It's not a charge move. Oh, I had him. I fucking didn't keep doing it. There we go. I gotta figure out how to do his other moves. Right now, if you think this is boring, why are you here? You knew it was going to be an old-school fighting game stream with ridiculous knockoff. Like, why are you here then? Don't sit here and complain. Go do something else. <laughs> oh, I can air. Here we go. Oh, he blocked it. How the hell did he block it? He didn't have enough energy to block that. It's pretty crazy floating and hitting five times. <laughs> That's even more re re unrealistic than Street Fighter. So, how do you do... I, again, how do you do this, right? How, I, what are his moves, guys? Anyone know his moveset? All I know is the fireball and the kicks. That's it. That's all I figured out so far. Who? What the fuck did he say his name was? Lee? That's the most generic name you can have. The most generic Asian name, and the guy doesn't even look Asian. Wow. I have no idea what this guy's gonna fight like. I guess he's supposed to be probably Chinese. Yeah. Yeah, look, he's a predecessor to, like, Yun and Yang. 
ding dong die! He said ding dong die! Oh my god, he fucked me up with these dash punches. He's doing dash punches and ding dong die kicks. <laughs> I got fucked up. Ding dong die. I like the ducks in the background. The backgrounds are nice. The ducks. What do you say? Leaf field or something? Leaf shield? He's saying leaf shield as he punches. I think he's fucking woodman. Leaf shield! <laughs> Mizoguchi wins! Leaf shield! Oh shit, he grabbed me. Oh! That's a crazy full screen push. Leaf shield! Got him with the chip damage in the corner. <laughs> Did Capcom blatantly steal from this game? The thing is, this game used actual some fine, like martial arts style. Like that's an actual Chinese martial arts style he's using to fight. And I think Capcom took some of those to make future characters. All right, Jade. I'll see you after you're done eating. Sounds good. Sanche. Supposed to be basically like Adon. Sanche. See ya. A Muay Thai fighter, basically. Sanche. Oh, he's a tiger knee. That's totally tiger knee. What is it? Quarters will go back, plus punch will do the elbow uppercut? No, it won't. No, it will not. Nope. Oh, if I do, it's backwards dragon punch. It's backwards dragon punch. Koryuke! Koryuke! Look, it's supposed to be Shoryuken. Koryuke! Hit you with the elbow. Koryuke! Mr. Gucci win! So definitely, Sam Che is a combination of Sagat and Adon, while Mr. Gucci is supposed to be Ryu for sure. Like, like that's blatant ripoff of Ryu. It even sounds like Shoryuken almost. Thank you, Chukaboko, for another tip. And for that input, uh, input on how to do that move. The Shin Blacks' Fighter's History Dynamite is actually much better. Koryuke! Oh, too far. Yeah, see, he's too far away to combo. Ooh. Igato. Igato. Koryuke. <laughs> oh, I tossed him for the first time. I threw him. Oh, n what? He, he did a jumping jab out of the air and stopped it. He got do. Hit do, hit do, hit do, hit do, hit do, hit do, hit do. So imagine going to the arcade and I'll hear ding dong day, ding dong day. Hit do, hit do, hit do. Your mother rose, your mother rose. Hit do, hit do. Like, what the fuck? What's going on in this building? Mei Lin, I think they said. Fei Lin. I wonder if she's supposed to be Chan Li. Fei Lin. Eh, uh, you know, she kind of has... That's almost Gen's fighting style. That is Gen's fighting style. But the music is Chun-Li music. What the hell? Koyo Kaka? It hit her. Whoa, she's a, a giant anti-air. I go to look at that. Kari you can. Haiga you can look at that. Hold on, hit all, hit all, hit all, hit all, hit all, oh. Kari you can look at that. Oh my god. Yes, I played Clay Fighter. 
Oh shit. Whoa, she's an air fireball. Oh my god, look at this combo! Oh god! Her whole energy bar! Her whole energy bar in one combo! Yikes! Jam! Her whole energy bar with one combo. The all five hits. You know what it is? There's no scaling. There's absolutely no scaling of any moves of this game. So it's full damage every hit. Oh my god. Your scene is finished, actress. What? What does that even mean? <laughs> oh god, the Mizoguchi mirror match. Here we go. I can't wait to play with some of these other characters. <laughs> this is so stupid. There are some kind of a bridge. Who knows where this is? Is this supposed to be Japan? I don't know. Maybe. It looks Japanese, I guess. I like the sa the music. How do you even do that? Oh, it's low uh, heavy punch. Whoa. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Look at the damage. Is he dizzy? Hit the, hit the, hit the, hit the, hit the. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Mizoguchi. Oh, really? Slayer says that maybe that's Mount Fuji in the background. He might be right. Koryuke. Slam him. Oh, I didn't get the combo. Oh, Jesus, hit twice. Tiger, look at that. Come here. Hit the, hit the, hit the, hit the. Oh, he punched me through it. <laughs> he punched through it. Ouch. Yes, Shin Black, I was just saying I played World Heroes before. Yes. I played all the ones back in the day. I played every classic fighter from the 90s. So now we got Hujin. Jean. Jean is left, and after that, the boss. So Jean is supposed to be from France. Gee, I wonder if this will be stereotypical at all. What could a stage possibly look like, right? A, a ballroom. Look how fancy. Aren't you Mr. Fancy Pants? You only fight in ballrooms. Yamato Rose! Yamato Rose! Tiger Nuka Nuka that! What is this music? <laughs> Someone played a trumpet. He's totally supposed to be bootleg Guile. You can tell from his, his moveset, like how he looks. He kind of looks like Guile. Oh, he traded? Double KO? Double KO! Holy shit! <laughs> wow! Wow! Trade, huh? Oh, you fuck face! Tiger, do get, do get that! Come here! I'm gonna give you a do get, do get that! Come here! I've been practicing my do get, do get that just for you. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Damn it. <clears throat> well, fuck you, you piece of shit. You French fuck. Your stupid suspenders. Oh, your model rose. Is 
So if I do the light version of the kick, he always uppercuts it after. See that? It's his low fierce punch. Oh god, look at him. He goes, ooh, when he dies. He stretches. So if I do the light version of the kick, then he always does a like tries to punish it with a low fierce, and I can hit the low fierce. Round four. Fight. Yo, model Rose. See, I get to punish it every time. Got him. Nice. I had to learn his pattern. <clears throat> Tiger Uga Booga Dad. So yeah, if you, if you guys have a Switch Online, you can play this right now. It's really stupid, but you can play. So wait to see the boss. The boss is a guy from another game franchise that Data East makes. And he's cheap, if I remember correctly. Oh wait, Clown is the mini boss. That's right, I forgot there's a mini boss. Clown. Looks like a great fight, doesn't it? He has a Blanca ball, as you can see, just like Blanca. Look, he has Blanca balls. But I could totally, I could totally rain, uh, zone him. And he can't do anything about it, look. He can't do anything about getting zoned. The mini boss is Blanca and the mini boss sucks ass. I always wanted to play a fighting game in the middle of a fucking circus. He's looking just says every time. And I slam him too. He sucks. He's the worst character in the game. Clown. You guys ask me. <laughs> Terrible player. Wow. <clears throat> Clown. Now it's time for the boss. You know, they've been a lousy sideshow, bozo. Look how his face changed. He took his mask off, and he looks like that underneath. Why did he wear a mask if he had clown makeup? Oh, so this is Karnov. If anyone ever played Karnov, it's actually a game where it's a it's an action platformer. And he, he was the, the character you played as. Now he's the boss. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Perfect anti airs. I can't stop the headbutt. I can't stop it. It interrupts everything I do. Look how high he can jump. He's a little guy, but man, he can jump. No, not fire. I don't know what to do. He's tiny, but he kicks my ass. There's a snake in the gra in, the, in the sand. Loses. Snake in the sand. Round two. Fire. Fire. There we go. Fuck you. Oh my god. <laughs> I kicked the shit out of him. I wonder, does he have the balloon attack in this one, or was that only in Dynamite? Oh no, fire! I got him. Almost beat him. Fire. He's hit another fire. 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 Got him. I beat him. 
Does he have balloon in this? He has a, he swells up like a giant balloon. He goes balloon and he bounces on you. But I don't know if he has it in this one because there was a dynamite. That was the sequel. Is street karate really for me? <laughs> Come with me and I'll teach you pro fighting. He just won the whole circuit. Why is he to be taught? Then you can qualify for the next tournament. So wait a minute. He beat this tournament, but he needs to be trained by this guy to qualify for Street Fighter, basically. I will try my best. Let's go. So the game is admitting this is minor leagues. It's not Street Fighter. What the fuck? The dude dragged him up by his neck. What the hell? <laughs> Yo, why did he drag him up by his neck? What? This is the oddest ending ever, right? Yeah, Shin Black says, you probably know this, but Karnoff has a bunch of Data East games, especially cameos. Right, he does. He has his own series, and then he has cameo appearances in other ones, too. All right, so who do you guys... I'm going to pick someone new. Who do you guys want to pick now? Who do you guys want me to pick? Ray, Phelan. Oh, we don't even know who she was. We didn't fight her, did we? Oh, wait, she was the first opponent. I forgot her name. Fucking... What was this guy's name? I can't remember. Matlock. Fucking Matlock. Sanche. Lee. We already played Mitsuguchi, and I, I suck with Jean. We played that. Let's pick a different character. You got Lee, or, or especially Sagat. Matlock. Lee. Everyone's saying Lee. This was Lee, right? Lee. Lee. Lee versus Marstorius. Okay. Round one. So let's see. So that's the dash punch. It's just half circle forward and punch. Or actually quarter circle. Oh my god, did you see the damage? Why did you do that much damage? Damn, you got double suplex. Leave shield. Okay. Oh my god, ding dong die. Ding dong die. Oh, ding dong. <laughs> Ding dong die! Oh! Oh my god. So I know two moves. I gotta figure it out. He's gotta have more than that, right? He's gotta have more than two moves. Oh my god. Ding dong die! That's got to be his anti-air, right? Well, I, I, he only has two moves. What else does he have? He's got to have more than two moves. Maybe a command throw? That was a regular throw, I think. Why does he say leaf shield when he does his attack? It doesn't make any sense. Jesus, he did a two combo. Doesn't combo, that's the problem. You gotta have other moves. Tiger! Tiger! Okay. Heat shield? Maybe saying heat shield. I wish there was moves. There's no moves list. I might have to look up moves list for the game. I think I'm gonna look up moves list. He only has two special moves? What the fuck? That's it? Leaf shield and ding dong die? That's seriously all he has. Here. Fighters. History moves list. Ding dong die. Yeah, here he is. Lee. Oh, no, he has a ton. So, after he does the dash punch, if you tap forward, forward, and medium punch, he does a follow-up hit. Then he has quarter circle forward, back plus punch. Super Zesu Shu Shu Hu Hu. That's, that's the same exact move. Is was that it? No, it says medium, but it says... What? Maybe? Hold on. He has his quarter circle forward punch and then dash, shoo shoo, forward, forward, medium punch. 
Unless this is the move, this could be the move set from Dynamite, actually, because it looks like some of these are special moves that he doesn't have. Yeah. Four back medium punch, four back heavy punch do different moves, but yeah, it's saying he has he has like follow ups that I don't understand how to do. It says if you do that with this move, what? but then you tap. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. So you tap four four medium punch, you should do a follow up. It definitely doesn't. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, look, unless maybe he has to hit and then you can do it. And it says have yeah, of course we go forward back plus punch. Is that it? That just is like a regular throw to me. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think this moves work. Oh my god, double German from that distance. I don't know. He doesn't seem very good. He seems pretty shitty. Yeah, he's, he's basically using... Exactly. He's using Akira's stance from Virtual Fighter. It's a real fighting stance. Correct. Huh. <laughs> So he only has two moves? That sucks. He has no combos either, from what I can see. Like, no combos at all, so he's probably one of the worst characters then. Here we are in front of the Capitol building again. Leaf shield. Yeah, because look forward, back. It doesn't even do different moves. It's supposed to, and it doesn't. Ding, don't die! That seems safe on block. I don't think they can punish it. Yeah, see? I get advantage. I get frame advantage after they block that. Of course, if he does that, he's going to hit me. Wait a minute. He's cheap as fuck. Dude, he can just do that over and over. I'm pretty sure you can do that move over and over. Yeah. Look, he can't do anything. He's stuck. Wow, what a great fighting game. Hey, guys, how you doing tonight? I hope you guys are having a good night and you're enjoying the stream of Fighters history. A hidden gem from the 1990s, a game that everyone, you know, was definitely lining up to play, as you can see, because it only had the highest level gameplay mechanics required in order to win. You definitely had to master your moveset and the timing. Oh, the timing was very superb. You absolutely had to concentrate at every possible moment in order to pull off any kind of victories in this game. People who play Street Fighter thought, oh, this is like a child's toy. Once you play Fighter's History, you're a real manly man because of the skill required to... Oh. <laughs> wow. Kevin Bernstein, how you doing tonight? Thank you for the Super Chases. I love the commentary. Thank you. Wow, that is pretty broken as shit. I don't see how that's fair. Remember, you guys wanted me to pick Lee. Matlock. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they, can't, they literally can't do anything to it. What's he saying? What the what kick? Well, how did he hit me like that? He wasn't even near me. Spinning blade? I think it's a spinning blade. It's supposed to be Sonic Boom. And that's supposed to be Flash Kick. It's not like a Flash Kick, though. Overhead Kick. Overhead. Is he Australian or British? Overhead Kick. Spinning blade. Overhead Kick. Round 
I can't even jump over it? I can't jump over it or do anything to it. It's completely safe for him. It even hits my punch. His kick is completely safe. Overhead kick, it's completely safe. It's, just, it's worse than mine. Wow. All right, well, forget fucking Lee. He sucks. He really does. He's just the punch and the stupid ding dong die or whatever the fuck it is. All right, who are we gonna pick? You guys want Ray, Fei Lin? I forgot her name. Uh, fucking Matlock, Sam Che. Gene again. We already played Gene and Marstorius. Who else do you want? What do you got? Come on, any suggestions? Where the game just picks. The middle guy, Sam Che. Alright. Sam Che. I gotta get his moveset. So he has fireball. Yeah, he does. It's a fireball. He's got. He got goal. He got goal. And then same level. Oh yeah, look at that. Popo cock. Popo cock. Popo cock. <laughs> Yo, popo cock. <laughs> this is great. This is absolutely great. Popo cock. Pop your cock. <laughs> pop your cock. He even said pop your cock. That's literally what he's saying. Pop your cock. <laughs> I don't know what he says there. How the fuck does that hit on the other side of the screen? Your guess is as good as mine what the fuck he's saying there. Matalo below. Pop your cock. I beat him. Pop your cock. Matalo below. Montalo below. Pop your cock. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Yeah, Sam Ch Sam Che is a, is a Muay Thai fighter, so he has the same style as both Adon and Sagat. Pop your cock. Who below below? Lee. All right, Lee. Sam Che versus Lee. I actually like Sam Che. Something mustard. He says something mustard. Let's listen. I have no idea. Mop below below. Pop your cock. Leave shield. Pop your cock. Oh, I hit twice. You stupid kick hit twice. Pop your cock. Hit the low below. Hit the low below or something. <laughs> I had the fisherman in the background. Pop your cock. Ding dong die. Oh, he threw me. Fuck. Oh my god, it comboed. I'm dizzy. Hit me twice. I got the... Oh shit, I mashed. I mashed to survive. No! Come on. I couldn't pop your cock. Damn it. 
Oh, well, I like Sam Shay, but I got my ass beat by Lee, so I guess we're not picking him again. Let's try something different. <laughs> Pop your cock. Someone said to try, try one of the women. So what's her name? Let's see. Her name is... Ryoko. And she has a charge move with punch, half circle back with punch, half circle back with punch. Oh, I think one's a command throw, one's from far. And then in the air, half circle back and punch. Oh my god, I think she's all commands. She has a bunch of command moves, apparently. Yeah. Huh. We're gonna try her. I don't know how she's gonna turn out. She seems kind of shitty. It's all half circle back. It's all half circle back and punch. One in the air, one next to them, and one far away. <clears throat> Ryu's sister? That's it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yo! That did so much damage! That she has Vega's roll! That's Vega's roll! She has no poke after it, but she rolls just like Vega. That did Commander did like a, a third of his life bar. <laughs> so she's a judo character. Aikido, possibly, possibly Aikido. Oh my God! Oh! Oh my God! Oh! One more time! Whoa! <laughs> she's sick. Yo, she's crazy good. She's ridiculously good. She's like a third of your health bar with a command throw. Do they have tournaments for this game? In order to have tournaments for this game, they'd have to find two people who actually wanted to play it at the same time, and that didn't exist. So, no, there were no tournaments, sadly. <laughs> Shout out to Hiseo. Just to me, $5 said, man, I'm laughing so much, I'm having a hard time breathing. I don't remember the last time I laughed as much for your stream. Because the game is so bad, it's good. As I told you, this game is kind of like a guilty pleasure of fighting game fans from back then. Much like when you watch the Street Fighter movie today and you say, wow, this movie's a piece of dog shit. But it's hilarious. Van Damme is hammy as shit. All the characters are terrible. And it has such bad dialogue, you can't help but laugh. Like, that's this game. That's exactly what this game is. Pop your cock. Big spinning slam fucking 50% damage moves. <clears throat> you know, that's exactly what it's meant to be. I wonder if I can beat the game with her. Let's see. Let's try to beat Mizuguchi with, with uh, the slammer. What the fuck? Damn, he completely interrupted me. Yeah, look, he just reads your input and completely counter hits you. Here it comes, demonic. She says demonic. Dun, 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 dun. I don't think you can tick throw though. I did it, demonic. Oh, I tried to do the roll. He immediately interrupted it. It sucks. She only has two moves. She has the command throw and the roll, and that's it. Yeah. Demonic. Jesus, fuck, look at the damage. Demonic. Looks like they have that mechanic where the throw won't just kill them, you have to get another hit in. Demonic. Demonic! She says demonic. I don't even know what that is. I think it's the regular throw. Whoa, I couldn't punish. That comboed! I did low light kick, low medium. No, yeah, no. I did low light kick, low heavy kick, and it comboed a two hit combo. I didn't even know you could do chain. Maybe there's chain combos. Oh shit. I gotta experiment now. This game might have chain combos. <clears throat> Very nice. 
Yeah, she's like a combo of Makoto and maybe Sakura. Yeah, I agree. She looks like both characters together. The Shin Black Timmy Dollar 50 says Ryoko is based off Japanese female judo gold medalist of the same name. There was a, a Japanese gold medalist. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder, you gotta wonder how much, uh, like, was she happy that she was in the game, a fighting game, and then she found out it was this one with Ding Dong Die and fucking, you know, Pop Your Cock. <laughs> Pop Your Cock. Oh, I'm fighting Mr. Pop Your Cock right now. Speak of the devil. Matalo Palo. Here it is, demonic. Matalo Palo. It combos. It does. Lo low light kick, low, low heavy kick combos. I gotta see if medium can combo too. He got dull. Matalo Lobo. Matalo Lobo. Matalo below. Matalo below. What does Matalo mean? It means something in Spanish. Matalo. Matalo below. I'm dizzy. I got out of it. Judo throw. Yeah, there's a two-hit combo. Yeah, it's low low light kick, low heavy kick combos. It's a two-hit kick, two-hit hit confirm. Kill wolf. Yeah, Matalo below. Kill the wolf. Matalo below. Matalo below. Kill below. Strike the balls. Kill below. Matalo below. Kill the strike the balls. That's what he's saying. Strike your balls. Okay.